Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 for another day in the lovely United Kingdom. And today, we've got a brand new car for us to unlock. This is the 1968 Pontiac Firebird. I am crossing fingers that we're going to have some really good customization with this. But before we get into that, I do want to check out the Forza Thon shop for today. Oh, I wasn't expecting to see that there, but nicely done. We will also check out the Horizon backstage. I didn't know this was the week for boats. Fun fact, the Chevy Impala has body mods, so I'm voting for that. Without further ado, let's go bang out this season event and unlock the Pontiac Firebird. 10 minutes later, across the line in the Corvette, three stars across the board, and the Pontiac Firebird has officially been unlocked. We're sitting at the bottom of C-Class Bone Stock, which is actually really good for our upgrade potential. We have 330 horsepower, 430 foot-pounds of torque, and it's a, uh, well, it's a bit of a heavy boy. We usually don't start these here, but this wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any fun facts. And uh, your, your first fun fact is this car is actually broken in Forza Vista. I, I'm just trying to do a nice circle around the car and it, uh... The, the game freaks out a, a little bit. Anyways, though, before we get into any upgrading, let's give this thing a go bone stock, all right? I guess we should get into some proper fun facts about this thing. Pontiac Firebird, right? I know I've spoken about it in a previous video, but this is kind of that generation of muscle cars or pony cars that have that Coke bottle shape. That's why this car is called a Coke bottle. Everybody in Twitch chat is just like, no, I don't see it. Bro, I'm, I'm not lying. It's actually called the Coke bottle, like shape of muscle cars. My big, big hope for this thing is that we do have some really good customization. I love it anytime we get these old time muscle cars back in Forza Horizon 4 because I love turning them into just absurd drag racing cars. Even if they're not like the most OP drag cars in the game, I love drag racing these things, but I really hope we have some good engine swaps for this thing. We do though have some pretty solid horsepower up to P1 on the hardest difficulty. The Pontiac Firebird isn't as slow as I thought it would be out there today. Let's go see what customization we can actually do back to the festival. Please do not let me down, game. So we've got our 6.6 .6 liter V8 with 330 horsepower. 6.2 liter V8, that's not bad. Please give me something good. The engine from a Dodge Viper? Why? I guess on that terrible disappointment, we will start things off with a basic drag build. Let's go for a... Let's start things off with a fully maxed out drag build. But instead of cheating and making it all-wheel drive, let's try rear-wheel drive. I'm not gonna go all-wheel drive with this thing. I will toss some twin turbos on which barely raised my PI. We do have some four, mm, never mind. Rear wing, no, never mind. At least we've got one thing going for it. Thank you very much. And then we come to our tires. We've got a bunch of different tire compounds, all of the usual stuff. We've got rally, drag, and vintage race tires. Anyways, obviously I'm gonna be drag racing, so drag racing tires for us. I'm gonna keep the front as thin as possible to maximize my weight reduction. And because we're rear wheel drive, thick boys in the rear. And then we've even got some good old fashioned engine spacers. Yo, those actually fit that wheel arch like perfectly. That's awesome. Wheel sp engine spacers in the back. Were you gonna say wheel spacers? No, what's a wheel spacer? I've never heard of that before. We will max upgrade our drivetrain as well. Look at that shift time coming down. I don't actually know how many gears this thing has bone stock. I assume it's three or four. When we come over to our springs, we've got the usual stuff. Rally springs, that could actually be interesting. 
but drift suspension as well. If we come over to weight reduction, we weigh 3,300 pounds right now, remove 669 pounds. I mean, obviously it's not gonna be the fastest thing out there for one being rear wheel drive, but I am kind of interested just to see what it can do rear wheel drive. And then I wanna compare it to all wheel drive. After all of our upgrades, 2,700 pounds, 1,000 horsepower, looking good final little thing before we do hit the open road oh yes one of the best parts of the 60s hot take they did paint jobs better in the 60s than they do today look at that paint it's like a sunburst yellow with like a flake in it yep yep that sounds like a oh boy okay yeah it's it's fast yep so twitch chat make your predictions i think we're gonna do uh, high eight seconds. Let's see. Come on, buddy. Early shift out of first. That's probably not the best idea. Currently getting beaten by the all-wheel drive boys. Come on. Come on. Fi Firebird's not that fast. It definitely looks like a drag car. It just, you know, doesn't really go like one. Okay, that was a significantly better launch. Now we should be in the eight second range. Come on. Hey, it's a little bit of an improvement. It's not as big of an improvement as I would have liked, but 9.2 seconds, not terrible. Why don't we just say screw the rules and see how fast this thing can actually go. Let's get some all wheel drive on. And then I think we might actually get into the seven. Our stock engine only gets to 800 horsepower, which is a little bit disappointing. So. I guess we'll probably have to go with our V10 if we want maximum power. With our V10 maxed out, 1,100 horsepower now. Actually, we're almost 200 pounds heavier than we were before. We get an extra 100 horsepower. I would definitely say, I don't know, I feel like we didn't get as much horsepower as I would have liked, so probably low eights but it gets off the line so nicely. Yep, there are the other guys in this race. You know, maybe the Firebird just isn't for drag racing in this game. Pontiac Firebird is just not fast in this game. We definitely could have had some better engine upgrades, I'm just saying. Even when we're fully upgraded, this thing's still pretty heavy. So I'm kind of thinking we should actually do rally racing instead of on-road racing. If I'm going to do rally racing, why don't I actually aim for A-Class instead of S1? Because I feel like it'll be a thousand times more competitive. I guess we'll get a rear wing on the back. Our front splitter just raises up our pi way too high so we're gonna have to pass on that let's actually toss on our rally suspension that looks so cool actually lift it up i love that rear wheel that looks so good we are now a class with our pontiac firebird we've got 560 horsepower so that's not bad we're fairly lightweight as well. We've got all-wheel drive. We've got rally tires. I, I feel like that's kind of a good build, but we'll see. 0 to 60, 2.2 seconds. I'll take that. I feel like this livery actually looks really good for some rally racing. Okay, let's find a good rally cross course for us. All right, and away we go. Hardest difficulty. Definitely a little bit slow off the line. I am so used to driving considerably faster stuff than this, but you know, I'm gonna try to cheese the checkpoints as much as possible. Already up to P4. A van is beating us, but we'll catch up to him. Yeah, I could definitely do with some more weight reduction. I, I can tell you that right away. I could probably also get away with thinner tires. There's a significant problem with the blower. I can't see what's in front of me. Definitely feels heavy in the corners. That is for sure. I really wish I could almost build this thing with less horsepower, but also less weight. How am I actually getting beaten by a van? This is not good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yo, he breaks so late up the ends. Just bully him. Just bully him. I am a firebird. I am basically a murderer. Somebody's like, why does this thing look so heavy? Because it genuinely is so heavy. In all of the corners, it... It feels almost like it's bogging down. It's like, uh, okay, I'll go. That's what it feels like driving this car. I think what we're learning here today is the Pontiac Firebird, not a good car. Twitch chat is yelling at me to remove the blower. 
I hate to disappoint you. It, wait, what? Wait, having the blower is actually weight reduction? That leaves us only one other option. And that is to become a Hoonicorn. Game. Hoonigan. And if cool is the name of the game, I am going front splitter over there. Rear wing is looking good. And the biggest blower money can buy. We are saying goodbye to those rally tires. Hello to... Let's just say street tires because I like chaos. I don't really know how I've done this, but somehow I'm in A class with uh, 1,100 horsepower. I, I'm essentially a power build today. I, I would like to apologize for the noise coming out of this vehicle, but it can drift right out of the gate. Okay. Oh, it's still so heavy. Even with all of the weight reduction and everything we did. Oh. Oh, come on! It's so heavy. It's so, so heavy. You know, I think I've just decided... I don't like the Pontiac Firebird. Drastic times call for drastic actions. Mika, you are my last saving grace for this. Come on. If you want to have fun with the Pontiac Firebird in Forza Horizon 4... It needs to be all-wheel drive, or you're just gonna hate the vehicle. So I think what we've learned today is that if you actually try to upgrade a car like people would in real life, it just doesn't go very well. You literally need maximum amount of horsepower, all-wheel drive, and drag tires if you want to actually do stuff in this game. See what I mean? Doing that is super easy for this vehicle. It just goes, wee! Which way are we going? We're we going this way? Nope, we're gonna go that way. Nope, maybe we'll go this way instead. It's just, it's so easy. And we're gonna go that way? Nope, faked out, didn't I? We're gonna go this way instead. But I do definitely think Forza kinda did this thing dirty with the lack of upgrades.